Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy and today this is the first lesson of the GAD general preparation series. As I have mentioned in the previous video that we will start from the quantitative section and more precisely from the arithmetic portion first. So in, in this test they only check your elementary level or general level mathematical skills. So these lessons will only polish what you already have. So let's start. Firstly, we will revise our number systems or numerals that we all know about the natural numbers started from 1, 2, 3, and 4, so on, and that is represented by the letter N. So the natural numbers are represented by the letter N. Now, when we're talking about the whole numbers, the whole numbers are just as the natural numbers and with addition of 0. So the whole numbers started from 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and whole numbers are represented by W. So N is for the natural numbers, W is for the whole numbers that are from 0, 1, 2, and 3, and the natural numbers started from 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now moving towards the even numbers. Numbers that are divisible by 2 or the multiples of 2 are known as even numbers that are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, etc. represented with the letter E. And Similarly, when we're talking about the odd numbers, numbers which are not divisible by 2 are called odd numbers that are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on, represented with the letter O. So, moving towards the next, we have integers. All of the positive and negative integral values are in the integers. 0, positive, negative 1, positive, negative 2, positive, negative 3, and it is represented with the letter Z. You have to consider this, that in the integers, we didn't mention 0. 0.5 or positive, negative 1 by 2. We don't mention the decimal values, we don't mention the fractions, only the integral values. So the integers, we have only integral values 0, positive, negative 1, positive, negative 2, positive, negative 3, and so on, all of the positive and negative integral values. We can also say that we have positive integers, we have the set of positive integers that is represented by z plus sign and the z negative sign for the negative integers. So when we're talking about the positive integers, so we have all of the positive values 1, 2, 3, and so on, and when we're talking about the negative integers, then we have the negative values minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. You have to consider that 0 is not in this positive integer set and also it is not in this negative integer set. So 0 is neither positive nor negative. And this is the basic 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 basic numbers that we generally consider in our elementary level. And all of these numbers are all real numbers. That is represented by R. So every positive, every negative, every fraction, every decimal, whatever the number you may think of will come in this set. That is real number. We are not talking about the complex numbers here. So every real number, every number, every natural number is a real number. Every whole number is also a real number. Every even number, every odd number, every integer, is a real number. So now we'll talk about the two main things, the two main properties of zero. The very first is that whenever zero is divided by any number, for example, I'm taking a number five. If zero is divided by five, then the result is always zero. But when any number is divided by zero, the result is undefined. So it is not equal to zero. This is not equal to, this whole thing is not equal to zero. So you have to consider this. This whole thing, whenever zero is divided by any number, we get zero. Whenever any number is divided by zero, that is undefined. And whenever there is a number, of, let's say five to the power zero, any number to the power zero is always equal to one doesn't matter how big the number is this, doesn't matter how small the number is this, every, any number to the power 0 is always equal to 1. Let's say we have 
this always equal to let's we have so this is equal to one so any number to the power zero is always equal to one so there are two main things this is the very first thing zero divided by five zero divided by any number is equal to zero any number divided by zero is undefined that the next thing is that any number to the power zero is always equal to one and at this stage that is preparation for the gas general you don't really need to prove these things that how zero divided by five is equal to zero or div five divided by zero is undefined or any number to the power zero is one so so don't really need to prove these things right now moving towards the next important thing that is the division algorithm let's understand this with an example first so let's say we have two numbers 32 and 5 so let's 35 divided by 5 we can understand this with the help of we can understand the division algorithm with the help of this so whenever we are going to divide without any calculator you have to consider this in the GAT journal you don't allow any type of calculator so you have to do all of the calculation in your head or by hand so 32 is divided by 5 so we all know that 5 6 times 30 and we are left out with 2 so I'm not going in the placement of the decimal here so here 32 is equal to 5 times 6 plus 2 here 32 is the dividend 32 is the dividend and 5 is the divisor because 5 has to divide 32 32 is the dividend 5 is a divisor 6 is the quotient and 2 is remainder we can write it as a is equal to b times q for the quotient plus r for the remainder a is the dividend b is the divisor q for the quotient and r is for the remainder so this is the division algorithm the general form of the division algorithm that we can write any number of this form in this so you have to keep this general form in your mind because if there is as 5 does not e exactly divide 32 so what what does that mean 5 is not a factor of 32 so we can figure out the factors of any number how we can figure out the factor of any number so the third part here is after number system division algorithm is how to figure out the factors so we can figure out the factors of any number let's say we have 32 and we have to figure out the factors of 32 so now we what we can do that use the table in order to get the factors so 1 times 32 we get 32, 2 times 16 we get 32, 3 times, no there is not 3, there should be 4, as 3 doesn't divide 32, so 4 times 8 is 32, and then we have 8, 16 and 32 in the base. So this implies that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 factors of 32. 1 is a factor of 32, 2 is a factor, 4 is also a factor, 8 is also a factor of 32, 16 is also a factor, and 32 is the factor of itself. So, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. So, there are 6 factors of 32. So, the next thing is about the multiples. As we know, the factors, we can easily detect the multiples of any number because it's just about recalling the table let's say we are finding the multiples of, let's assume that we are finding the multiples of 5 that are less than 32 less than 32 so the only thing that we have to do is just doing with the table so 5 1 times 5 5 2 times 10 then 15 20 25 30 and then we have 35 but less than 32 so here we are 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 multiples of 5 that are less than 32. So we can find any number of multiples of any number within any restriction or whatever the requirement will be. Similarly, we can also tell that how many multiples of a certain number is in between two large numbers. For example, if we are looking for multiples of 32 that are in between 200 and 300, that is, are in between 200 and 300, that are greater than 200 and less than 300. So how we can figure out? Because we don't have much time to find it with the table of 32 with the multiple process of 32 from 1 to and so on because there is approximately 1 minute or 1 minute and 20 seconds for each of the MCU to solve so there is no time to write all of the table from 1 to and so on in, in order to get the multiple in between 200 and 300 the only thing is to is to make some sort of tricks in your mind in order to get the required answer within no time the trick is Firstly, we'll divide 200 by 32. You can do in by this process. So we can get 32 is divided by 200. So it's 6, 1, 9, 2, and it is 8. So the only thing that we are that we are interested in in the quotient. So the 6 is a required thing here. Similarly, 300. So 300 by 32 is equal to, similarly, the only thing that we are interested in the quotient. So here it's 9 and, it's 9 and 2, 88, and it's 12. So here 9. Now, between 200 and 300, this is the maximum limit. So 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. So this is the required answer. So the multiple of 32 in between 200 and 300 is 3, the number of multiples. We, you can also check it with the help of the table process, just like this, from 1 until whenever you are in the desire, desirable limit. You can check that there are only 3 possible multiples of 32 that are in between 200 and 300. So the trick is this. You only have to deal with the integral part only. And then maximum and the minimum, 9 minus 6, we can get 3. The next part is about square cube, square root, cube root, etc. So we know that whenever we are going to take the square, we have to multiply it with that number with itself twice. So if we are going to take the square of this, so we have to take the square of both. So one square, one, two square, four. So this is the answer. Similarly, we're going to take the cube of it. So one cube, one, two cube, eight. This is the general thing that you all know. Now, if there comes a question of the type this that you have to figure out the value of x here now what should we do here is square root so taking square on both sides in order to eliminate in order to get rid of this root whenever we take square so this square cancel out this square root and this will becomes 9 and then by this we get 4 now here this is cube root we only have to take the cube on both sides in order to get rid of this. So x is equal to 4 cube is 64. So this is the answer that x is equal to 64. So this is in the first episode of, this is the first lecture of the arithmetic. And we have dealt with the number systems, the region algorithm, the factors, multiple, square root, cube root. So the link of the related problems of these topics will be in the description and this is for now if you're looking for more such videos then you can subscribe this channel to watch more upcoming videos we'll meet in the next video till then take care goodbye